Hello, it's me, the Red Pipster, um, so you can quite hear this, but um, I actually got uh, bandyradio.com playing in the background. Um, let's go use it for a second, shall we? I'm going to show you the website still up and running. Um, this guy called Howard Canton apparently said that the Bible guarantees the world would um, experience uh, the rapture and judgment and the start of judgment day uh, on May the 21st, 2011. Well, today's May 22nd, and I've actually waited till after 2 o'clock. Um, I did do a video at uh, quarter past 12, um, which is summertime. Um, it's now 4.25 and um, in the afternoon, 16.25 uh, British sometime in England I mean the full 24 hours have gone because we, we weren't quite sure on the timing uh, as to which part of the world would be in 21st of May but well there you go uh, and let's play some music Must be tuned out. Anyway, so you um, go. I'll start again. Uh, it just shows that, um, well, this goes wrong. The Bible does clearly say that uh, we shouldn't fix in dates, we shouldn't fix in times for, for the rapture or the return of Christ. Because scoffers are going to come and they're going to tell malicious lies about uh, our God and Jesus Christ and his promises. And because the big people who are the big false prophets um, are like wolves in sheep's clothing. And uh, misinterpreting the scripture, Paul said, twisting the scriptures unto their own destruction. And uh, I think it's really sad. No, not just really sad, it's very sad um, that people, genuine people, genuine, sincere Christians, hopefully, they are, and they'll, they'll repent of this, but they get caught up in this hype of this rapture, and they make the old claim, judgment day is going to happen on this day and that day, when all it does is harden the hearts of skeptics and the scoffers and the non-believers and those who follow other religions, um, other false religions, um, and turn them against Christianity, and uh, all the things account to it. They, hold, and they don't just say, oh, it's that group, or it's you know, that group. You know, they whitewash the whole of the Christian church as followers of false prophets um, and of a God who doesn't keep his promises. Well, their judgment will come, and Christ will come to his church, and Christ will one day hit in Jerusalem which will be, as the scripture says, the highest mountain in the world. And he will, as he said he would do, return to the Mount of Olives, as the angel said he would do. He would return to the Mount of Olives. And it will split in two, and he will march unhindered down the Mount of Olives and into his throne room in Jerusalem. And I just pray for all the people who followed Howard Campin, who were uh, expecting the return of Jesus Christ, the, or the rapture of the church and the start of judgment day, um, I just pray that you know you will seek the Lord. You will begin to read your Bibles again in a new light. This new light that uh, actually it says you know to to live in the freedom, not according to the false prophecies and false interpretations of these leaders who claim to know so much and well they speak things which God hasn't commanded them to say. So I'm praying that rather than turn to atheism, rather than turn to other false religions, you will get on your knees and you will repent for the Lord of God and you will ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit and to help you read the scriptures what they really say. Because unfortunately by getting caught up in this hype, this religious fervor um, from these false prophets, you've actually given 
for scoffers. Mm -hmm. St Paul speaks about more reason to scoff at the Christian church. They will harden their heart and, uh, and make them, sadly, more determined to avoid listening to the truth of Jesus Christ. And so that still small voice that speaks to them in their heart, in their conscience, to harden their hearts to it, and they will run even faster into hell, death, and the lake of fire. See, the Bible clearly says in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21, no man knows the day or the hour, but false prophets will come, and they will say, here he is, or go there and you will find him. Or they will say that I am Christ. And they're not. Yes, indeed, you've fallen for a false prophet. Okay, but don't reject the message of God. Don't reject Jesus Christ, the Son of God, because you were led astray. Call to him. Call now. Jesus Christ. Ask the Father to forgive you for following the false prophet. And ask Him to reveal Himself to you, to make Jesus real to you, to fill you with the Holy Spirit and walk in faith and trust in Him. And, and if you do speak to Howard Camping, if you do speak to his readers, tell them they must do the same. They must be the same. They must repent and admit that they were wrong. Not to go on to set another false day. Not to carry on another path and say, oh, I've got the calculations wrong. We don't want to be like Jehovah's Witnesses do, who are just waiting for an opportunity to come up with another false day to bring themselves. Don't go down those lines. Don't go down the lines of false religion. And those of you who might be indeed scoffing at what you guys have done, don't worry, the Bible said that these false prophets and false teachers would come. God is giving you another warning. He's telling you that the signs and times are here. And there is but a little time, a little time, for you to have forgiveness from your sin. God's not giving these warning signs because he's trying to scare you. Into, into the kingdom. He's trying to give his warning signs so that he lets you know that he loves you because he doesn't want anyone to perish but all to come to repentance, all to turn from their human things away and accept the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So please, this so called failed prophecy isn't that a confirmation of prophecy? It's a warning to you that we are in the end times and that God's justice will come. He did not shut the door in his face because he is coming back for what is right for him. And God loves you. He's giving you these warning signs, allowing these things to happen so that you will turn to him and ask for forgiveness and you can enter into a new life an eternal life with Jesus Christ the living Son of God so if you're disappointed today if you're disappointed today pick up the Bible start with John's Gospel and then read Matthew then read Mark then read Luke, read Acts, read the New Testament, and get your heart straight with God. Get to read and understand His promises, not the false promises that these false leaders are given. Okay? God never sent Howard County to give a message of truth, and allowed him to follow. Doctrines of demons. Well, 
like I say, even he can be saved at this last stage. Tell him if you see how we're camping. Or the other leading who follow his message and, and led you astray. Tell them they need to go back to the Bible and they need to submit before the Holy God of Israel. And they need their hearts changed. They need their minds renewed to get rid of these false prophecies and false doctrines. And God bless you all.